Hello there, I'm teacher Mark and I post two tutorials like this every week, so please consider subscribing to my little YouTube channel. Alright guys, today we're going to talk about Studio Link in Affinity Publisher. It's really neat feature, but many new users are confused by it. So Studio Link allows us for very fluid, seamless workflow directly from Affinity Publisher, the newest addition to the Affinity family, the orange icon. So if you purchased this recently, you may notice that at the very top of your software, you can see designer and photo icons as well. So what does it mean? Top left corner, you may notice we got all three icons for publisher, designer and photo. So let's start with the first icon. This is standard default publisher persona. So we got publisher tools, very specific from desktop publishing like frames for text. You can click, drag and draw the frame. You can paste your text. You can paste temporary text. You can draw multiple frames and then you can link them together so the text will flow from one frame to another by dragging this little corner here. There's of course classic move tool at, at the top. You can move, resize and rotate your objects. Below that, very similar icon but in white color, node tool. Node allow you to modify certain nodes in the shapes. We got also table tool, so you can draw table really quickly. Then artistic text, not for a long text, just for like headline or slogan, something short like this, artistic text, usually for headers. We can of course change font and color. And there is our trusted pen tool below that. You can see it on the left side, here it is, pen tool. And it's exactly the same pen tool that you may be familiar with. It's in Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo as well. So it's exactly same pen tool available for us in Publisher. Then we got Shape tool, exactly same shape tool like in Designer and Photo. So that's really good. It's really nice. We got our smart shapes. If you right click on any shape in Publisher, you can convert that into picture frame or text frame. That's really handy. So you can easily fill the shape with image or text like this. So you can have custom shapes as your text frames. Then we got standard text and image frame in the rectangular shape, in the oval shape. Exactly same feature. Very, very old school tool. Place image is also on the list. So that's simply opening the panel so we can search for the image in our system. And that's the most important tools in our publisher persona. That's what you will get after you purchase your Affinity Publisher. And also the page panel that will show master pages and all of pages in your document. So it's really easy to work with multiple pages in Publisher. All right, but that's not all. If you got other Affinity software, let's say you purchase Publisher at the end, you already got Affinity Designer, you can click over here, Design a Persona, and as you may see my interface change. I got all of my tools from Affinity Designer within Publisher, so that's really fluid workflow. Keep in mind, you cannot just purchase publisher and then you will claim that you got all tools from designer and photo. No, this is simply integration with the software I purchased before. So if you got designer like me, you will be able to access all tools from Affinity Designer inside Affinity Publisher. So I can draw any custom vector shape like this using my Affinity Designer tools within Affinity Publisher document. So that's really nice. This way you can construct some custom vector shapes like this one. And then you can use that in Publisher, for example, as an image frame or text frame or simply as a decoration. 
So now, as you can see, I'm in the second persona, the blue color, Affinity Designer persona. So I can use all of my tools from Affinity Designer within Affinity Publisher. That's really cool. And exactly the same with the last persona, Affinity Photo persona. All of my tools change again. So now I'm using tools from Affinity Photo inside Affinity Publisher. It's why I always recommend buy Publisher as your last piece of software. Only this way you can really, really use this cool feature called Studio Link, when you can swap between different tool panels. As you can see, I got Pixel Selection tool here, straight from Affinity Photo. I can also import pictures from stock panels here. So let's work with a picture. Just drag and drop, maybe this one. All right, I didn't put it into a picture frame, so I must resize manually like this. And now I can use my adjustment panels from Affinity Photo inside Publisher. This layer panel and here all of my adjustments from Affinity Photo are here right now. So I can simply, let's say, desaturate this picture, make it as a background in the newspaper, magazine, reduce opacity. All right. So if you purchase all three programs, you will be able to use this studio link profile. So I can switch each persona is actually the full fledged program kind of built in your publisher. So I can use Affinity Publisher tools and also manage pages. Then I can swap to Affinity Designer tools and draw shapes, vector shapes, everything I need for vectors are here, like in Adobe Illustrator or Inkscape, And then at the end, the violet one, Affinity Photo, similar to Photoshop. And I can swap between them just by pressing the personas icons at the top of the interface. So that's really, really neat way. I really like this feature. And that's why I think you should get Publisher as the last program. All right, guys, I hope this explanation helpful and I hope I will see you in the next tutorial so don't forget to click like and subscribe and I will post more affinity content later this week. See ya!